Okay, well, good afternoon everybody. Uh, I'm Peter Appleton, the Associate Director of Workforce Resourcing at uh, King's College Hospital NHS Foundation uh, Trust. Um, just a little bit uh, about uh, our organisation, just in case uh, uh, many of you are unfamiliar. Uh, we've got or somewhere in the region of 15,000 people uh, working uh, for our organisation, of which 12,000 are employees. Uh, we're based on the two main sites, which is Denmark Hill and uh, down at the Princess Royal University Hospital, which is down in uh, Bromley. Um, but we're also operating uh, from uh, Orbington, from Sidcup, uh, from uh, sort of uh, Beckenham, and some other satellite services. So, uh, you know, we're spread actually as an organisation quite uh, widely uh, around uh, South East uh, London. Um, we actually contract out uh, a number of our services, which is uh, uh, the transactional parts of the uh, payroll, uh, recruitment administration, um, and also the HR administration. So all the contracts to uh, or contractual changes of employment. So we, we outsource uh, that, you know, sort of activity. Uh, what, what I particularly wanted to uh, uh, talk through about. Um, uh, a product which we have uh, been uh, using, which is uh, called uh, Greenlight. Um, now, Greenlight is just a sort of a brand, as I should say, a of brands available. So I'm not here to plug or, uh, or, or sell for that a particular uh, uh, product. Um, but what, one of the things that uh, was really interested us uh, about uh, sort of, uh, using technology was to try and um, really improve the leaders' uh, sort of a process. Um, what what I, I will go into talk about as well, which is of course particularly sort of relevant uh, for day, uh, today, is uh, you know, sort of reducing uh, time to hire. So I will talk about how uh, these sort of particular sort of, uh, <coughs> you know, sort of uh, link in uh, with a recruitment module, um, uh, which uh, I, I'm not going to go through the whole of the recruitment module uh, sort of today. Very happy to do um, at a future uh, seminar. Um, but how, how these are sort of the two, uh, you know, sort of uh, bolts uh, really uh, together? Because I think that we might have the answer uh, for being able to track the time to hire for a lever um, all the way right through to when summer then starts. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll test that over the uh, forthcoming uh, uh, weeks. Um, we, we actually went to live with a, a recruitment process uh, side of this uh, sort of product um, on uh, Monday. Uh, and uh, so far it's Wednesday, it's working absolutely fine and uh, managers love it, which is good. Okay, um, so uh, we delivered uh, sort of, uh, an e-expenses uh, system in uh, 2014, um, uh, that was uh, with our uh, partner uh, Software Europe. I believe that uh, Software Europe has about 190 uh, NHS of uh, trust and employees, many of you around this room might be using uh, you know, sort of that uh, uh, product. Um, and what we are on is a bit of a, uh, a technological transformation of the journey in uh, trying to exploit what uh, the, these uh, sort of products that Software Europe uh, can, uh, you know, sort of uh, offer. And it was one of the nice things if you keep the same um, uh, software sort of company, you can deliver uh, a, a pretty good uh, product that, uh, from a line management uh, you know, perspective, there's not too much of a huge difference. They get used to the, uh, the you know, the, the, the user interface and uh, hopefully become uh, you know, a bit more sort of engaged really in the sort of using uh, the sort of uh, systems. Um, so what we sort of decided to do is uh, implement an online uh, workflow uh, system, which is uh, what, what Greenlight uh, uh, is. Um, in a nutshell, it's really uh, 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 replacing all of the um, uh, forms that uh, you know uh, managers will complete out, either send through the post, or email, you know, sort of over to uh, any uh, sort of central unit, and to have uh, everything really through a portal. Uh, so um, both the uh, you know, sort of line managers and central teams have immediate access to all of this uh, information and actually it looks nice and works you know, sort of, uh, uh, much, much better. Okay, so um, what uh, sort of, uh, Greenlight uh, sort of does is it enables a uh, pre-population of, uh, sort of data from uh, uh, various uh, systems and then um, uh, you know, sort of, uh, uh, minimises the time that managers have to, sort of, uh, you know, to uh, try and find you know, sort of, uh, information. So particularly on recruitment sort of the side, which uh, uh, we've just, uh, sort of done, uh, try and say to a manager, you need to identify what the post number is. I mean, that, that was just horrific. Um, so what uh, this system does is actually sort of draws what the post number is from ESR and populates that in a form uh, for uh, you know, sort of, uh, managers. Um, 
And uh, you know, so really, uh, what uh, the, the solution is sort of doing is that allowing is sort of the tracking um, on, on any form that a manager is completing means allowing that sort of tracking to sort of happen. So at every stage a manager does something or doesn't do something, um, all of that is uh, sort of being uh, sort of a time. So um, I'll, I'll give myself a sort of challenge, really, for sort of Daniel, because he's been speaking about you know sort of data here. Um, we, we want to get to the top of the, the, the list, <laughs> um, but we, we believe that uh, through this sort of system and, and others that we've been you know, sort of working on. Um, that uh, really we we uh, uh, very very sort of, uh, data uh, sort of rich, um, and but uh, so what what uh, uh, you know so the forms are automatically sort of routed. So when I say forms, you know as I say it's really a sort of portal you've completed you know sort of a, a detail, um, but also we can have the fields because you're using a portal you have fields that are absolutely mandated for managers to complete. So in, in other words, a bit like those. Um, and sometimes it can be a bit annoyed you know, when you complete you know, a, a, a form online and then you get a little pop up and says uh, you, know, you haven't completed this, you can't go on to the next stage. So that's what this is doing. And what it really does is therefore sort of drives compliance and make sure that forms um, get uh, you know, sort of, uh, completed. Um, systems accessible, you know, sort of, uh, and we're quick and easy uh, to use. And as I say, it's the, the same as the uh, expenses solution, so it's familiar uh, for uh, managers. Um, so just on the uh, then, uh, sort of, uh, levers, uh, you know, sort of, uh, side, really just to try to give a bit of an overview um, around the you know, sort of, uh, system. Um, but what we uh, looked at was what happens if a line manager doesn't actually do a form um, and sends it to a central unit? Well, you know, the answer to that is it's going to cause no payment. Um, so we, we tried to look at this in a slightly sort of different way. And thought, well, what, what can we have as a bit of a, a safety net? So what we have for now is individuals, uh, employees, uh, will go onto the portal to uh, do their resignation uh, online. And that will do uh, two things. First of all, it will uh, notify the, uh, the line manager um, that uh, the individual is actually uh, uh, resigning. What it will also do is it will notify the uh, sort of a central uh, team um, that, uh, that that resignation um, is uh, uh, has taken place, and then what the central sort of team, in our case the outsourced uh, provider, um, will suspend the pay of uh, that individual on a future date. Okay, so uh, in theory, if the manager doesn't do anything else you know, at all, it avoids uh, the overpayment um, because uh, we've at least uh, sort of noted that this individual uh, has this sort of design. What it also does, of course, which is good, is it's given an immediate um, notification uh, to the central unit of that resignation. So, in fact, what can happen is that uh, that central unit can uh, you know, sort of chase the line manager and say, hang on a minute, your uh, member of staff has resigned, you haven't done the form yet, and you need to. Because, um, as uh, you know, we'll, we'll also know, there are bits you know, about annual leave where line managers may not have got the accurate calculation, you know, etc. So, all, all of those bits, uh, the central team, uh, you know, sort of, uh, can uh, uh, chase. Um, so, you know, this doesn't sort of replace about you know the, the conversation that uh, we would really expect you know, the manager uh, you know uh, to have, um, but uh, uh, absolutely sort of uh, drives the compliance and uh, the administration avoids you know to be overpaying. Um, we, we're using uh, what, what is uh, uh, known as a single sign-on uh, uh, technology. Um, uh, basically, uh, this uh, enables uh, an employee when they're logging onto their system within sort of uh, the trust uh, that they can go automatically into the system rather than having to have multitudes of different sorts of logons. I mean, again, it's all to make the user experience, uh, you know, sort of a much, much, uh, you know, sort of uh, better. Um, but once they're sort of uh, logged in, the individual completes, you know, a short sort of a resignation form, sort of de detailing their anticipated sort of leave date and reason for sort of a, a leaving. Um, and this really comes, I think, then to the uh, policy, you know, sort of side. Once we get the, the technology, you know, uh, working really, really well over, the, you know, a good period of time, we're really going to drive home uh, the policy side uh, quite hard. And what we're going to say uh, to uh, employees is unless you've gone on this portal and unless you've resigned in this way, you, your notice period will not have started. Uh, and again, uh, that is designed to drive out uh, you know, these overpayments. Okay? 
Um, but what we've got to make absolutely sure, but before we you know, do the harder bit, we want to make sure that we, we've got the sort of system working absolutely right, so there's no excuses really. But our early indications are uh, that that insert working uh, you know, absolutely uh, fine. And what you'd be very uh, happy uh, uh, to do, I mean, it's either individually or you can do this in some sort of groups, you'd be very welcome uh, to come down to King's and uh, you know, we'll actually show you this sort of system um, you know, sort of working, you know, both the uh, leaders process and in fact uh, the recruitment process as well, if you'd like to see that. But you've only got to uh, email uh, Steve and he'll arrange that for you. Okay. Great. So, so.